Go ahead, Matt. Oh. Hi, I'm, my name is Matt Kitzman with uh, Service Solution Center, and uh, I wanted to uh, give a quick uh, testimonial um, for Steve and Jean Hansen of the janitorialstore.com. Um, I've known Steve for, boy, it's probably going on 10 years now. Um, he was uh, my mentor in starting this company. Um, when I started this company, I simply had an idea, and I uh, sought out to find resources um, to help me bring that idea into fruition and uh, I found Steve and he and I worked very closely on uh, the very first baby steps. I was working with Steve prior to having a single account um, and uh, he helped me learn how I would market my company at that time. He learned, he helped me learn how to determine who my clients would be, wh who are the customers I want to go after, um, which has changed as the company uh, has grown. But uh, um, we developed that target market. I did several months of market research where I was just interviewing facilities managers saying, I'm looking at starting a new company. Tell me about your the positives and negatives you found about the, the service or providers in our area. And then we took all that data together and we came up with a business plan to try to fill a unique void that uh, my area uh, didn't have. And it, it was very successful for us. Um, I am fortunate enough that Steve lives very close to me, so not only did uh, he uh, uh, mentor and coach me via the phone on several occasions, he actually came down to my job site uh, and helped us start um, some of the large clients we started. The very first time I did a strip and wax, Steve was there and helped me do it. So 9 o'clock at night, he and I and a couple employees are, are in a building and he's showing me how to do it, and uh, it just blossomed from there. Um, and uh, as we've grown throughout the years, we've grown uh, very steadily. Um, we didn't want to grow too fast because we didn't want our, uh, our systems to outgrow our abilities. Uh, but we've been in business uh, now for about 11 years. And uh, we started off with one account that was $300 a month that Steve helped me get. And uh, now we're, um, we're servicing uh, just shy of 10 million square feet a month. And we have... Uh, about 35 employees and uh, uh, he's helped me massively throughout the years in how to build my systems, how to um, develop the proper team, um, which as you grow, there's certain tiers in your company that will need drastic changes. In the beginning, of course, it was just me. Uh, and then what, when, is the, when is it appropriate to bring on somebody to help with um, secretarial or back office? When is it appropriate to need another manager? When was it appropriate to have an operations manager? Uh, and he helped me along the way make those decisions properly. Uh, and uh, so many things you have to consider from man hours to financing to how that's all set up. And then really just continue to um, develop that team. Along with that, we had to create our our systems or our standard operating systems that we call um, every single thing we do uh, is documented in an operating system from as simple as how do you clean a toilet to how does AR look, how does AP work, how do we deal with vendors, how do we deal with um, a employee situation be it good or bad. Every time we run into a situation that we haven't run into before we redocument that and create another SOP. And really what Steve has helped me create is we've gained massive value on our company because um, there's a roadmap, a complete guide to how to run our company. Um, so if something terrible were to happen to me and my leadership team, uh, somebody could come in and pick up our manual and literally run this company, uh, which is... Uh, uh, makes everybody's job easy uh, and sometimes also we run into situations that you run into once or twice a year and maybe you forget what you did last time or maybe you forget what your handbook says and we reference our SOPs we reference our handbook when we make these decisions and make sure that we are um, continually uh, leading in the in the same direction that we sought out to uh, and it's it's been very very successful for us uh, to where now we have several full-time office staff uh, we have uh, several managers of different levels running different job sites, uh, and we're continuing to grow. Uh, and we have, uh, our, our target market has changed. In the beginning, we did a lot of uh, little jobs, which of course I encourage everyone to do when you're starting. And we have found our target market in this area is large facility. So uh, we, we focus on 50,000 square foot and above and found that to be a niche that uh, 
we're really well equipped uh, for dealing with. Um, so uh, that's kind of the direction we've taken. And of course, when we made those decisions, we, um, we changed our SOPs and changed our, our marketing strategy and, and, and went forth in that regard. Um, but the, uh, Steve has been an absolute uh, cornerstone in, in helping develop this company and giving me the advice I needed. He's always been available, uh, whether it's a big decision or just a little, hey, I don't know what to do here, what would you do? Uh, he's had massive experience and, and I don't know that I've run into a situation that he hasn't seen. So uh, he can usually very easily steer me in a, in a correct direction. Um, so if you have a janitorial company and are struggling, uh, maybe you're, um, you know, have a few employees and doing a few hundred thousand dollars a year and, and having that trouble getting to the next step. Um, uh, I would highly consider um, uh, looking into the janitorial store to help you get over that hurdle and help you uh, make the right decisions. And when you have a roadmap to know this is exactly what I have to do to get to the next position, uh, you sleep better at night. And on the other hand, if you're, if you're new to this and have never had a janitorial company, uh, again, this is the place to start. Um, I would say probably the number one thing in the beginning that helped me through Steve's advice, although he told me what to do, uh, telling me what not to do was actually probably even more helpful. He had made all the mistakes, which we all do, uh, and in the situations uh, he, he guided me to how, to how to be better than my competitors, how to uh, just av avoid certain pitfalls that may seem... Uh, like a good thing to do uh, with as an inexperienced business owner but when you see that uh, there are several outcomes and maybe that's not the correct one you want um, having that knowledge and that experience uh, as a tool in your tool belt to when you have those decisions come to run them by somebody that's that's just been there and done that has been uh, uh, phenomenal for us uh, so uh, i would highly recommend um, using them on any level uh, of their products um, I, uh, I don't think we would be the company we are today without their help. Man, can I ask you, what revenue are you at now? Um, this year we're going to do uh, probably about $1.2 million in Very gross nice. sales. And uh, again, we have um, we've focused on large company. So um, we went through a period about a year ago where as we uh, really examined our numbers, um, we actually went through and... and uh, uh, discontinued service on several clients. It was a good experience. A lot of them saw our growth and we just said we're, we're going in a much different direction and, and that uh, maybe we didn't fit really well for them and we'd stay as long as needed and even assisted them in finding another janitorial provider. Um, uh, but it, it seemed that you know it cost me the same amount to process AR on a $500 a month account as it does a $30,000 a month account. Um, and uh, when you also analyze, you know, um, the time that your managers invest in a complaint. Uh, you know, we have very, very large accounts that have very few complaints versus if you run into a small account that has a very picky person that wants to take up a lot of your time. Not that we're not gonna be there for our clients, but that has to be taken into consideration. We've had some very needy clients that were small and really the numbers didn't make sense for us to continue to service them. So uh, we very uh, politely, uh, you know, ended some of our contracts on that in regard, uh, always in a positive fashion, but and most of them, under, you know, I would say all of them basically understood that we were a growing company and taking a new direction and, and never burn a bridge. So we, 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 we try to stick with that. Absolutely. So what do you see as the future of the Service Solutions Center? Well, um, because of our new direction, um, the unique part about our direction is I don't have to put a lot of resources into marketing mass marketing shotgun approach because we're going for a large facility uh, by doing research we know who our next 100 clients are so uh, timing it appropriately uh, i directly contact and solicit them um, the other challenge of large facilities it takes a long time to get them um, one of the last contracts we just signed it's a, uh, a large large one uh, took us a year um, from the point of our first meeting to signing the contract because large companies also have lots of red tape There's boards of directors. There's several people in charge. This has to go through um, It's well worth the payout, but you have to be very persistent and you have to uh, be very patient um, So I'm working on several of them all, all at one time uh, knowing that they all take several months 
um, um, to get to. And of course, that's not something you can do as a brand new company. You have to start with the, with the littler ones that are bringing in those revenues. And then if that's your focus to, uh, to focus more on that area. And, and with the large accounts, um, these are usually big enough where we have on-site managers who um, are there 40 hours um, continually overlooking uh, what's going on. And when you can get an account to that size, your level of complaints cuts in half uh, because you don't have a manager that shows up to inspect once a week or just pokes his head in now and again. You have someone there, boots on the ground, continually looking at what they're doing. Um, and uh, it's also very important when we, we look a lot at the uh, disc scale or personality types. And uh, we generally try to choose someone that's a high I or an influencer, uh, someone that's a kind of a, a really, uh, you know, people are drawn into them. They're, they're, they're fun people to be around because the PR aspect of these large accounts is probably the most important. Um, this large account that we have, we have a gentleman there it's there um, uh, full time, and in the mornings he literally inspects every building. There's 14 buildings on the site every day, and is he inspecting? Absolutely. But the bigger part is, is he's going in there and he's saying hi to the receptionist and how did we do and how can we do better? And he's rubbing shoulders with uh, the decision makers and the higher ups of that company. They all know who he is. They all love him. When they call, he is there instantly, taking care of them, um, and. Uh, that makes us uh, you know, almost invaluable to them. They, they had a service provider that didn't have anywhere near that level of service, um, and they're, they're very pleased with us. And as long as we keep that up, there's no reason that uh, you should ever have to worry about losing an account like that. So it gives you a lot of, um, uh, uh, you're less, uh, less worried about turnover when it comes to clients on things like that, when you can provide that level of service. Well, I want to thank you to take the time to give me this testimonial, Matt. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's been fantastic working for you, or yeah. working with you, and uh, you know it's been amazing to see from the beginning and where you've gone and where you've taken this business. Yeah. And it's going to be exciting for the future to see you double and triple the what you're currently doing because I know you will. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think the only other thing I would say is is have patience. Um, uh, it took us 10 years to get to this point, and I don't know that I'd want to go any faster. In fact, uh, when we started this process, we purposely um, stopped going after new accounts because we recognize the fact that it takes time and, and lots of effort to build these systems and get the proper team members in place and uh, you have one chance you don't want to screw it up and get a bad name so uh, have patience and do it slowly um, uh, because if, if I had the opportunity to you know uh, start three or four um, half million dollar year contracts I think I would fail um, that's too much at least for the size I am. Uh, so maybe in the future when I'm bigger, but you really have to focus on, on what you're doing and do a very, very good job and then build it slowly and methodically. Uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make for a much stronger, solid base of your company. Very well said. Thank you, Matt. Thank you.